In this third part of radical equations, this time we bring in a slightly different problem. We have the square root sign appearing twice. We have two radicals. What I usually try and do then is isolate the more extensive of the radicals, which in this case we have done there. It's all by itself. Um, so as before, I'm going to square this side to get rid of that radical. And that works out really nicely to 3x plus 3. The problem comes on the other side. is because there's two terms there, when I square them, I've got to use brackets like that. You cannot just go square of that, square of that, square of that. The left-hand side now becomes much more complicated because you have one bracket multiplied by itself and both brackets have a radical sign in it. So when you square this out, that times that gives you x plus 5. This times this gives you a 2 times the root of x plus 5. This times this, um, sorry, this times this gives you another 2 times the square root of 5. And the 2 times the 2 gives you a 4. Nothing really changes on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side. Once the dust has settled, you have x plus 9 here, plus 4 times the square root of x plus 5. Now we're back to having one radical sign inside our equation. So the steps now is to isolate that radical by taking these guys to the other side. Remember when they cross the equation, the border, you're going to change their sign. Uh, sorry, I'm going to change this original question to 13 here. That's originally how I had it. Okay, 3x minus 1x is 2x. 13 minus 9 is plus 4. Okay, now what we'd like to do is get rid of this radical sign, but we're going to have to square both terms like that. And here we're going to have to square both terms. So you have to square the 4 to make it 16, and square the square root sign so it's now x plus 5 in brackets, but no square root. The right-hand side becomes 4x squared plus 16x plus 16. This becomes 16x plus 80. And we also have a 16x over here plus 16. We now no longer have any square root signs. Take these both to the other side, make the left hand side 0, and we have 16x minus 16x plus 16 minus 80, and these guys here cancel, and they become minus 64. Now we can solve our equation pretty well. 4 goes into both. And this bracket breaks up into x plus 4, x minus 4. Or you could end up using your quadratic formula. Uh, you, you'll end up with a quadratic of some sort. Okay, if x plus 4 equals 0, then x equals negative 4. If x minus 4 equals 0, then x would equal positive 4. Okay. Now when you check both of these, you'll find that this one here is an extraneous root. Okay. So we only do get one answer to this question, x equals plus 4. Okay. 
So as before, watch out for extraneous roots. Make sure you, ch you check both answers to your question.